My theme this fall is comfort and notice in the title that I said update. That means either I style my existing clothes differently and or replacing a couple of pieces to refresh my look. As you can see, most of my pieces are neutral, but I also have a few with subtle patterns to make the capsule wardrobe more interesting. This is a baseline and tailored to where I am. You may need to modify as you see fit depending on your location and lifestyle. I have such a penchant for a striped top, especially in black or blue. It is always so classy looking and I am wearing one. I also have another thin one by Club Monaco. Really, there is always a good time for a striped top. Call me old fashioned, but I often think of Emily in Paris with a striped top, trench coat, and a red beret. Will I ever wear a red beret in Paris? <laughs> Heck no, <laughs> unless I want to stand out like a sore thumb trying to be Parisian. So don't buy a beret, but you can continue doing a long sleeve striped top under a trench. A striped top is by far the easiest pattern to work with. It functions almost like a neutral. This year though, I am copying Jaycoo's director style. I do have pants in similar color, but not the length and black kitten heels. It is classy and simple. I also I also love a striped top with a pair of sailor pants or high-waisted wide leg bottoms. Next up is a long cardigan. Fall oh, is such a cozy weather to enjoy your knitwear. It also instantly make me think of long comfortable cardigan and ankle boots drinking your cinnamon spice latte. This one is by Theory in Kashmir, but it only costs a few dollars more than a sweater cardigan by either BP or Halogen at Nordstrom. This one is cashmere soft but not super soft though. It is quite long in petite which I like. I don't usually layer much especially in the early fall so this one is so good to wear over my sleeveless tops or tanks. If you want something thicker but in similar length, I would highly recommend this sweater blazer from J. Crew. It has the structure of a coat but the comfort of a sweater. It is a step up from cardigan duster for example. I have one in black for many years and it has excellent quality. It looks fantastic oversized. This one is in size extra extra small but honestly I prefer the look of the, the other one better. I am super excited to share with you my latest love from Quince. I've always wanted a silk skirt, not the price. This is 100% more berry silk that is washable and is only $60. If you like to compare prices like I do, a satin one costs more than this, but silk is so much more luxurious looking. This gunmetal color is so beautiful, hard to come by, but so unique for fall or dress up at a Christmas party. The silk is thin, but the quality is really good, just like the rest of Quinch clothing. The cut on the skirt is very flattering, which is hard to find when it is at this length. The elastic waistband is hidden and wide, so it doesn't twist like some thin ones do. Silk is so luxurious though, and I am more likely to dress up than dressing it down. Quince has it in navy, black, olive, champagne, and burgundy. I am pretty sure I will get another one. Joggers are going to be your answer to pants for fall and provide enough comfort for all day wear. Whatever you typically wear with jeans, you can wear with joggers. Joggers definitely have a laid back vibe, but depending on the fabric, you can dress them up slightly. I have this pair in black by cloth and stones in tensile material. I love this fabric because it doesn't stretch, can take some beating and doesn't wrinkle easily. What really sold me about this particular item is the fact that they instantly make me feel skinnier. I am a pear shape, that means bottom half heavy, so it is not easy to find things that can make me look slimmer below the waist. These are definitely less casual than cotton or fleece joggers and I love to pair them with my black silk top, black slides and a two-tone bag to break up all the plaques. I don't stop wearing dresses because it is getting colder. I only have two to share though. This long one is by Cloth and Stone. It is quite long, so it is definitely a piece I wear more in the fall. I will also belt it and I do have a few belts that will go nicely with it. I believe this is on sale at Teacher Max for $10 cheaper than what I spent. I think the leopard kitten heels really dressed it up. 
Here is my other dress that I love so much that can also transition from summer to fall. It is thin enough to wear now but also has the right mix of colors for the fall as well. This also makes me feel and look skinnier. How much would you pay to look skinnier? How about 40 bucks? I must say this really is worth the price. I can add a pair of black ankle boots, black faux leather jacket and B set. There are quite a few options to style this dress for sure. A sweater is essential for fall and you can choose different thickness to accommodate the temperature. I have a lot of sweaters in a variety of fabrics and styles, but this year I plan on getting more out of this beautiful cashmere sweater by Quince. And the color is lighter, it is blush pink, I hope you can appreciate it. It is more appropriate for fall temperature and the crew neck is also great because you probably don't need a turtleneck just yet. Besides, this one is only $50, less than a typical sweater that you would get anywhere else. This is the smallest size Quince has for cashmere sweaters and it fits slightly loose, allowing room for me to layer under. It is very warm and of quality cashmere. Don't pass up on it though. And like the tees and button-ups, blazer are also versatile but not necessarily all year round depending on where you live. But they will start to get more wear now that the weather is slightly cooler. Again, black and tan ones are a must but you can have more than one obviously. These are in classic solid colors but if you can find a black one, it will be great for those days when you need a little punch of excitement in fall colors. Blazer style has evolved and they can look cool, feminine, edgy, classy, professional. So definitely is another staple when you want an instant polished look. My friend, this is an oldie but still classy. It is also an ultimate cool girl fall fashion staple. I've had this one for many years. Love it to death and hope J. Crew brings it back. I wore it with all my black ensemble and in that light, the jacket looks more like a black than a blue. The velvet makes the entire outfit slightly dressier but is still effortless looking. In a different fabric, a bomber jacket can be a unisex type of garment that exudes rugged aesthetic but is equally practical for fall. It can also have a vintage feel to it and be a fashion statement on its own. If you have one in green color, which is often seen with this type. You are now vibing Tom Cruise. Banana Republic has one that looks quite posh and athletic. And no matter how comfortable your jeans are, I doubt that they would be more comfortable than a pair of cotton pants. You can prove me wrong. I had to try these to see if the height was real. And I have to say that I am quite surprised at how flattering these are considering I am short and these balloon out. These are in size 0, two to my current size and they hit me right at the ankle, which I love because I don't have to roll them up. This length will work with a lot of footwear. These are not as soft or stretchy as your chino pants, so you don't have to worry about them bagging out. I like to wear these casually with my white tee, one blows back and H&M meals. These pants are in between dressy and casual and are a good option for when you, you can't decide what to wear. You could also pair them with these flats for a true fall vibe. I am grouping the following items together because these are not specific to fall. These are pieces that can be worn all year round. It is useful to have a few t-shirts in the mix for layering. I have two white v-neck ones by 525 America. I love them because these are shorter, great to tuck in without creating bulk. I also have a graphic black tee. This one is actually from the Apple store. I love the quality. It is thick. Fits quite well. These go great under blazers, jeans, with jeans, joggers, and even skirts. All these colors are neutral and I think the v-neck ones are more flattering and elongating. But a button-up should also be a staple for you. White is the most versatile but you can do stripe, stripe with a twist, or any neutral colors that you like. My white one is by Cloth and & Stone and softer cotton that drapes really well but is more casual looking. 
while this one is by Citizen for Humanity and is more crisp, dressier looking and slightly oversized, I think it is great to have a variety for different styling options. They both are great under blazers, trench coats, jean jackets or anything really. I am also including a pair of white sneakers in this category. When it comes to easy everyday footwear, you can't go wrong with a pair of white sneakers. My Urk ones are golden. Why anything just make any outfit look more fresh, clean, updated, youthful, and less casual? I know the Viha and Nike Stan Smiths are very popular. You still have to convince me hard to make a switch though because these are the ultimate comforts. Fall is the best time for your true classic trench coat. I have one from Jeku in the classic beige color, but I will really enjoy the new one from Mango. Both colors are really gorgeous in my opinion. They both are long and the longer one is better to wear over a long dress or a skirt. This one dress better thinner and the color is fresh. It also has an oversized look that I love so it is roomy if I decide to wear something thicker under. If it's too early in the fall for a long trench coat, look for a short one. I am going to stalk Jegu's website for that short one when it goes on sale. This one has a good length for a petite person. It also comes with detachable stripe cuffs and become accent whenever I wear solid pieces. I do remove the cuffs whenever my top doesn't quite go well with the stripes. Mom, these are updates from my skinny jeans because being 5 feet 2 with thicker legs, skinny jeans don't always look great on me and I am so glad they are on their way out. But if skinny jeans look amazing on you, wear them, you don't need to update them. Because I sized up, they fit more like ankle pants on me versus the crop look they were intended for. I do have the same pair in black that I absolutely love and it would be more appropriate for late fall or winter. And this one is better for the transitional period. I Ballet think. flats are great in between seasons because you don't need to wear socks with them. You can easily kick them off but the toes are covered so you do have a little bit of warmth compared to your sandals for example. I find pointed shoes in general are more flattering. It, it is definitely the shorty in me always thinking to find ways to add inches to my height visually or physically. I am thinking of getting those. They are more modern looking in between round and pointed. I think they are gorgeous and the bow is such a nice touch on them. When wearing flats, showing some skin in the legs or ankles will be much more flattering. I have a lot of brown, beige, tan in my wardrobe so they will work with all of those pieces including a pleated skirt here by Aritha. Last and also a new piece is my faux leather jacket. I didn't really need another one since I already have two black ones but this is in a different color and it looks so expensive and feels so soft you guys that I could not resist it. The price of $40 justify my purchase for sure. Head over to TJ Maxx if you are interested. The brown is really lovely and a nice change from a typical black one. I love to wear this crop style over my dresses and help me transition my summer clothes into the fall. I do hope you noticed that a lot of pieces mentioned in this video are crossovers from another capsule wardrobe. And they should because that proves the versatility of them and that is exactly what we want to do to have enough basic staples and update when you need to. It will definitely save you money in the long run. Happy early fall everyone, finally no more sweltering heat.